Good morning, Internet! Hi, guys! We are in a Flying J parking lot right now. I just got my coffee. And my fuel was across the street at the TA. We're in Lamar, Pennsylvania. We are on our way to West Fargo, North Dakota. West Fargo. And then we're gonna drop off this load. This might be one of the last loads I pull with these people only because someone else has bought out our contract, so it doesn't pay anything anymore. The ones to North Dakota apparently still do, but I don't know how often she will have runs for me to North Dakota. So that allows me the ability to go find new freight, which is what I'm doing. So from North Dakota, we go back to Minnesota real quick, pick up a load that has two stops in Salt Lake City, Utah, so we haven't been out there forever. And then I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna go through Wyoming or Montana. I haven't decided. And then from there, uh, maybe Montana. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, from there, I'm going to go to Vegas. We're deadheading all the way to Vegas to pick up a load. It's coming out of one of the casinos. That's then going all the way back home, practically. We're going to Delaware after that. So yeah, that's my run. I'm gonna be out for about two weeks, almost, like 13 days. I left yesterday to pick up the tire loads, which is why we're at this weird spot in Pennsylvania. I just woke up, so I'm pulling all this crap out of my face. I should probably just use one of the wipes. Um, but yeah, we should probably get going because this fuel island just got busy and I feel bad. So I'm not gonna get going. I just bought my coffee, that's all I wanted. Hi, Barbosa. It's a, I don't know where to put this right there. That sounds good. All right. Da, 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 da. Ooh, he's got a mass plate. I don't know how much I like this yet. There's a wire hanging down in my face. I hate wires hanging down in my face. It's really annoying. Oh, well, that guy has a really far, far forward tandem. Far back? Far back. Far back. Here, I'll show you. Well, I guess they're not that bad. They're further than I would like them. All right, so we're blowing some popsicle stands, going to banana stands. Uh, I wanted to tell you about my uh, trips. So this is 36,000 pounds in the box right now, which is a little heavy for the runs that I do out of this warehouse, which again, may not happen that, that often anymore, which really sucks. But um, my next two loads are great. <laughs> One of them is a trade show, so it's gonna weigh nothing, hopefully. Hopefully they're not like packing it full of electronica or uh, I don't know, like, crane weights or something uh, and then my load before that the one that I'm taking to get to Salt Lake to then deadhead to Vegas um, which trust me it's worth it I wouldn't deadhead to Vegas for nothing like there's just nothing coming out of Salt Lake City I was interested in so so we're that's just that's just how this is gonna go uh, so anyway we're um I was gonna say something but Butler distracted me oh uh, that load is like 20,000 pounds because it's a bunch of chip chippers chips <laughs> so, uh, oh, there's a speed bump? Oh, shit. Where's the speed? Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh -huh. I fucking hate speed bumps. Why is there a speed bump? Do we have problems over here? Why did I go this way? I should have gone the other way with the light. A passenger vehicle could clear the speed bump. It's not that bad. It's been here a while. All right, let's test out my uh, new GoPro setup. Ready? This is gonna be funny. GoPro, stop recording. That didn't work. Keep to the right. Yes! Easy pass! Easy pass! <laughs> All you need is an easy pass and a wide lane to the right, please. <laughs> Cause I'm a fatty. I'm huge. I don't know how much is I am. Well, if I have 36 in the box and I weigh somewhere around 30, I don't remember, 17 plus, no, 27, 20. Okay, so around 30, 63,000 pounds, I'm not sure. Come on, Dollar Tree. 
general, <laughs> all of the generals. Whoop. All right. Uh, this is not wider. Uh. <laughs> in the past, in the past, all you need is a need to pass. Oh, thank you, Gate, for staying up. I appreciate it. Ding ding. Nice job. Um, all the thank yous. We didn't hit anything. Yay! Another successful toll booth. Lord, oh lord. Alright, now we're on a turnpike. Oof. At some point, I'm gonna need to take a half an hour break. I mean, I haven't been driving that long, but I can. I'm not. I'm sh I'm sh I, burp, 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 burp. I might as well, right? Like, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, but climbing this hill might. Man. Come on, Barbosa. You gotta work. Less time. Let's go! day three is day two because I didn't film day one <laughs> so that was day zero so this is day two and I'm out at West Area in Wisconsin I literally just crossed over the border I wanted to get through Chicago last night while it was clear instead of trying to do it during the day when there's a bunch of people running around I know a football game already happened I can't remember if it was in Green Bay or Chicago but it was up here somewhere anyway we're in Wisconsin we're on 39 slash 90 I gotta go get fuel up the street at Janesville because that's where I always get fuel I also, I brought my big laptop thinking that I could get some like big work done <laughs> and then set everything up, plugged it all in, thought everything was great. I have to leave the truck running when it's plugged into my tiny little inverter because I have like a stupid plug-in inverter and uh, so it'll sort of think about charging but it doesn't charge. The battery doesn't charge at all. I had the truck running for like four hours yesterday, running across Ohio with the laptop plugged in and it didn't charge at all. It still says zero percent. So I don't know if it's the inverter and I don't have enough power for it to charge the battery or if I need a new battery. A new battery for that laptop is like 35 bucks. So someday I will buy one. So that's my update on that. <laughs> I'm not thrilled about it. Maybe I'll find out when I go to Vegas or Salt Lake. I don't know. I do know that I want to shower. I feel really gross. I think my hair stinks. <laughs> I think I still smell like vacation. I think I'm stanky. I don't know. I know I need to go get a shower at some point. Um, but I don't know that that's going to happen today either, depending on how this drive goes. I haven't been to North Dakota in a long time at all. North Dakota in a long time. Um, I've been to Minnesota recently because we went and delivered in Minnesota once. Or twice. I can't remember. They all blend together. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is that me and Steve are working on this thing. It might be a while before it's published, but we're trying to put together, like, a map that has, like, travel resources for trucks and RVs and anything that you could possibly really be looking for that isn't Google Maps. I want it to be more, like, large vehicle-centric than anything else. I think it might have some some of my bike rides, because we I think we're we're exploring motorcycle content just because when we filmed with the chest harness during vacation you saw a little bit of it um it's a little bit too low but it looked really neat so I think we might do something like that I haven't decided but we'll we'll see what comes out um so I've rambled we're we're kicking on three minutes here on this clip so I'm gonna start driving so that we can get moving and drive through this rain
Well, this sucks. I'm uh, dead in the water. I am currently at a Loves in Menominee. Do, 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 do. Um, I got this far only out of sheer willpower, I guess. <laughs> um, so we went and got fuel in Janesville, right? Everything was great. Um, maybe about 30 to 50 minutes later, my deaf quality light comes on and says that the deaf quality is bad and I need to replace it. And I was like, how the heck do I do that? So I called Steve, because I call Steve for everything. <laughs> and I was like, what does the internet say? And he said, most people say you can just burn through it and then replace it with good stuff and you're fine. And I was like, okay, cool. Went for another hour. Then my, my power reduced light came on and it was like, please, please replace your deaf. And I said, oh no, I called Steve again. I said, find me a shop. <laughs> So we are here and we replaced my deaf filter and we, which is, yeah, yeah, because it's diesel exhaust fluid, not the particular filter. I didn't replace a particular filter, I replaced a deaf filter. Um, we took some of the deaf out, I put brand new deaf in, it's still crying at me. So thankfully there is a Kenworth literally across the highway over there. The only problem is they open at six o'clock in the morning. I was supposed to deliver this before seven o'clock in the morning in North Dakota. So I'm gonna be late. I've already told my broker, I've, all, I've told her everything. I started talking to her later, the, earlier this afternoon when the problem came up. Um, I have tried resetting the truck a couple of times. I have tried running it to see if like the new def would go through the filter and it would be fine. None of those things are working. So I'm pretty sure I just need to go to the dealership and get the codes cleared get them to give it the A-OK, -okay. hopefully it won't come back, hopefully I can just get it done, and hopefully it doesn't throw anything else into the mix. Hopefully. Because all it's complaining about is staff quality. So, here we are. Um, I'm just going to have to crawl over there five miles an hour tomorrow morning. I'm just glad that I got as far as I did. Um, I read the book, and it says stuff like, oh, if you've done this for three hours, then it'll... <laughs> if you've done it for two hours, it limits you to 60% um, torque, and then takes another 1% every minute or once every eight minutes, something ridiculous like that. And then once you've done it for three hours, then it drops you all the way down to like five mile an hour. So I'm glad that I got here when I did, because I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it that far. I was going to try to get to the GA in Hudson. I didn't make it that far. I'm just glad I stopped here. These guys are great. This loves is one of the best. I've broken down here twice now <laughs> for not similar issues. One of them was a stupid brake, cherry brake thing. Um, this one is this one is a bigger, um, a bigger problem. So, dealership it is, bright and early, 6 o'clock in the morning. They were fast last time I was here, too. They got me in and out, so I'm hoping that it's a similar, fingers crossed, Monday will be a good day for me to get in there first thing. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a cliffhanger. You'll find out if I make it out of Menominee or not. But that's spoilers. We don't want this. Anyway, so we'll get back to that in a couple of weeks. I have been inundated with requests to see the house because we've been doing a ton of work. We currently don't have any heat right this second. We will have heat here either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but you know, that's how these things work. So I need some coffee. Mm, delish. We have to go work on that, but I'm gonna show you the house. It's gonna be a really quick tour because we don't have a lot of time. While I'm here, any announcements I need to make? No, because postcards have gone out um, for November. Oh, uh, I might have pins either for Christmas or right after. That's the plan. So I'm gonna try and get that done, or at least get something done on Monday. And I'm really sorry I didn't stream, but we have a whole other issue with that that we'll deal with in a little bit. I think we might be moving to Mixer. That's my story. I'm sticking to all of these things. I'm gonna let you guys go. I have a house to work on. I'm gonna show you why. Uh, I think I need to go and close that window because it looks like it's not closed right over there. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Here is my tiny little short quick tour of what we've been doing in the house, which is a lot. And I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. And two weeks. Goodbye. Super quick update we have. Boom. A bathroom sink in the bathroom in the bedroom. And then we have a toilet that works too. We just need to do the walls. The ceiling's done, sort of. Um, I'm gonna put a shelf in. I'm gonna put another shelf in over here. And a big mirror is gonna go right here, which is right there. <laughs> so it's on my list. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, so that's the third floor update because you've seen everything else. Bedroom. 
an office. Looks like you've got some. Cat window. Hi, Spike. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hallway light! Hallway light! Hallway light! Our room, not much has happened in there, but we have a heater installed with its platform. The carpet is going, and that wall's gonna turn into the closet. The door left. Um, but the, what the exciting part is look, there's only one layer, and it's really thin. What? So this is gonna be an easy room to do. Right, Jet? Easiest room in the house. Say hi to the internet, Evie. What? Say hi. 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 What are you playing? Uh, Minecraft. Okay, cool. I wanted to show everybody your new painted room. Do you like your room? Yeah. All right, cool. Bye, Evie. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jet. The bathroom. This toilet does work. Um, we are getting rid of it, which is why it's painted. Um, these are the heat lines. Get excited. Uh, we have holes in our ceiling. Um. I think that's it. We just need to demolish a shower and this entire wall because this bathroom is going to expand into this room, which I am emptying. It's cold in here. Laundry! We have another heater ready to go. I don't remember where that's going. Come on, Jet, downstairs. Come on, boop. <gasps> Whoa, it's really bright in here because of that light. Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on, it's supposed to be a quick house tour. Show everybody all the work that Steve's been doing. Most of it's been downstairs. This is our front entryway, and now there's a big hole in it because we have heat pipes. Whoa! And the jets. And there's another hole in my front room because, again, we had to access heat pipes. There used to be pipes here. Those are gone. Same with the pipes in that corner. Um, and that's about it in here. Uh, ooh, new radiator. Boom, new radiator. I love it. I came from England in like three days. It was crazy. Um, and then we have, this one is going to go in the new bathroom we're working on downstairs. And that one's all set up on its platform, ready to go. Ta-da! Uh, kitchen! Since we're here, uh, we move the shelf. Cat. Um, not much has changed here. Other than that. That. That's it. Because over here, the laundry is going to move to where this is, and that needs to move over there. So that's the plan. Oh, I forgot to talk about this guy. This used to be the one in the living room. Um, that's gonna go out into that studio, that room, the, the light over there, once it's done, or, or ish. That's also this radiator that Steve has been working on, uh, right there, behind the kids' bags. Um, what else? I needed shoes. I found them. Okay. I'm in my, like, scrub clothes so that I can work in the basement. Come on, Jet, let's go! <laughs> what you working on, Dad? Tighten elbows. I guess what? I worked on I worked on your project. Where? All right. So a lot of people on Discord wanted to know what I've been doing because I've been posting pictures of this whole fun happiness. Uh, this is our new heat system. It's not 100% complete yet, but we're What? Getting... You mean those pipes don't go anywhere? It, it works on magic. It just transmits heat mm -hmm. magically through the... No, those are going to continue. Uh, we have more of the, this is aluminum core PEX, which is going to run down to each individual radiator. Uh, these valves here let us balance each room so we can say, okay, this room gets too hot. Let's only put it at 50% versus full on. So that's kind of nice. These are electronic zone valves so that we can have separate thermostats for the second floor and third floor and the first floor, because the first floor always wants heat and the second floor and third floor usually get too hot. So that'll let us balance those as well electronically. Uh, this down here is a return manifold bin, so those loops basically go out through this system, come back through these two, uh, and then that returns into the boiler. Uh, this is a circulator pump, basically runs the water through the boiler to pick up more heat. Uh, there's a much bigger circulator pump over here, which is what circulates through the whole system. Is this so the one that they sent with the... Yeah, this one came with the boiler. Okay. And basically this little loop here just provides heat. Uh, and then whenever the other zones demand it, this bigger pump will turn on and then pull that heat. This is the new line that the gas guy installed? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Yes, we had to have all the gas stuff redone. Uh-huh. And it goes all the way down to the other end of the house. Mm -hmm. Bye, Liv!